going on everyone and welcome to the Rob my youtube channel and today i'm going to show you how to set up your own dero node in windows and mine to it so essentially this is like a how to mine dero video also yesterday i showed you how to set up your dero wallet address as well as register to the dero network because if you don't have that already done you and your node will both fail all right, so we're going to go over a few things before we do get started here. Links to everything will be in the description. So you're going to need the latest release of everything. And if you just followed the video the other day, you should have the latest version. Or if you're watching this later on, there's probably been some updates since then. So you're going to come over here to the GitHub and download the latest Windows version here. Second, you are going to need net time. Now, net time, I'm just going to bring it up. That's this right here. So I just started, you can see we're offset. So if we go into settings here, uh, you're gonna wanna update interval of about 15 minutes. This is the fastest that this program allowed. You'll need a full NTP type of program if you wanna go faster. 15 minutes seems to be fine for me. And you're gonna want it to adjust any time it is greater than one millisecond off. So this pretty much keeps your node in sync and that does reduce your orphan blocks. Orphan blocks means you're not getting paid for blocks that you find. Now, another thing that's very important and I do want to run through as well is system specs. So here at docs.dero.io, it is saying you should have at least a four core CPU and eight gigabytes of RAM. Now, it's not mentioning the hard drive here, but I do recommend not a standard 5200 or 7200 RPM hard drive. You will want an M2 or an SSD, something quite a bit faster. The faster the hard drive, the better, because that will also, again, reduce your orphan blocks as well as syncing to the blockchain, everything will be that much quicker. Now, if you're only mining with like one to maybe six rigs, all you really need is like two cores or something. Now, it's once, you, once I started pointing like say 30 rigs at my node, I did find out on my server PC, I had to kind of reduce a little more threads to mining and open up more to the node. But again, it all depends on the size of your operation and what you're mining to as well as when the Dero network does pick up, for an example, maybe in the next bull run, if things get crazy, high transactions and stuff, you will have to boost that up as well. But based on these system specs, one of these little B-Link little mini box PCs are perfect for this. Actually, they're perfect for all sorts of nodes, Raptorium smart nodes, Flux nodes, all sorts of nodes that you wanna run at home. And it also is Black Friday. Link to this will be in the description. So maybe you wanna pick a few of these up because I know I gotta get a couple more of these for the things I plan on doing. All right, so we're gonna start our node process here. I'm in where I extracted everything. Same with our CLI wallet from the other day. And we're gonna start with this Dero.start bat file or dealio. So if I edit it, you can see exactly what I got going on. Dero Windows AMD64.exe. Uh, dash dash fast sync and what this does is it will fast sync your node it bypasses all the transactions and everything and just gets your node sunk up within 20 to 30 minutes depending on your system specs and everything also depending on your hard drive speed keep that in mind but it is fairly fast within 30 minutes and another point to bring up here if you ever do have issues with your node itself all you gotta do is simply run this again and you'll resync to the chain very, very fast. Now I am gonna run that process right by you right quick. So I'm just gonna initially start it here. Some of you guys already have. Yes, we're gonna allow access and everything. And it's gonna begin uh, spinning up and syncing to the blockchain. Now this right now is the very best way to do it because you are downloading all of them transactions within the blockchain. But you can see it is very slow and this could take a week, maybe two weeks, five days for some, depending on internet speed and everything, but it can take a very long time, but to get the complete blockchain within your node, this is the best way to do it. So as I was mentioning earlier, you run into issues, you're starting to find block errors and it's spamming a whole bunch of stuff. You know, if it happens to you, you'll know what I'm talking about. It's kind of hard to explain what's going on, but you'll know it. You'll know it when you see it. It's just a whole bunch of errors popping up. So in our main net here, we got all our files. All you gotta do is simply come into here, Delete that mainnet file. So your node goes down, you're having issues, just delete it. Now you're gonna come in and we're gonna run that start Duro node here. So we're gonna double click that. And now we can see it's gonna begin the fast syncing process once it kind of gets this whole initialization thing. So we're just gonna give it a second here for it to like say, hey, you know what? Uh, we're gonna run fast sync now, ignore the transactions. Let's roll all about it. And 
initiating fasting. There we go. So now we can see bootstrap initiated. It's doing its thing and it's just going through the percentages. Now I'm recording stuff, so it's a little bit slower than it should be. But again, 20 to 30 minutes, this will be done. I will come back once we are bootstrapped to the blockchain here. Okay, guys, so kind of cancel that. I was actually using a slow hard drive and it will work for video purposes, but I keep telling you to use a faster one. So I'm actually going to put it inside of my gaming drive. So I copied the files in here. I'm just going to run that Dero start bat file again. I'm going to allow the access. It's going to do its thing. And now we're just going to wait for it to begin its process again. You can see it was much faster and it's starting to shoot a lot quicker. So obviously drive speed in this case was very dependent. Okay, so it's been about a half an hour. We're on step two and over halfway. So it's only going to be a few more minutes and this will be done. If we scroll up from where we started, you can see right here at 192007 is when I began doing that. And now it's 1952. So, you know, 30, 31 minutes or so, and we're almost done syncing. It's fairly fast here using that fast sync option. Remember, you don't have any transactions or anything while doing it this way. But before we actually get into that and before it's done, I kind of want to talk about how Dira works and the block rewards and everything. So you kind of understand what's going on. This is different than other chains. So here you can see we have a block reward of 0.615 and a block time of 18 seconds. Now, this is actually a block is split between 10 mini blocks and each mini block is worth exactly the same 0.0615. And the 10th block is called your main block or integrator block. And that goes to the node every single time. So mining to a public node essentially by default you're already paying a 10% fee, which makes mining to your own node more decentralized and it ends up being more profitable because of it. I've done multiple tests in the past and mining to your own node has always been the most profitable way to mine Dero, even for small miners, guys. But now again, as some of the pools are down to 4% now, it is actually very, very close. It's very marginal on how well a Duro performs to its own node while mining, but it is still slightly better. I just wanted to point that out, but a node is the number one way to mine Duro in terms of profitability. All right, guys, so with Bootstrap is all done. We're all in sync now. I kind of have it paused here for a second just to show you what's going on. You can see it's all green. Everything is good. We got our main net, our zero seconds, zero seconds, 109 milliseconds, yada, yada, and so on. Here, if you type in status, it'll tell you your blocks that this node has mined so far, your network hash rates. Uh, down here is your network hash rate. You can see there's 214 mega hash on the network. This will be your miners, how many are connected, as well as wallet address. So one in four means you have four workers on the same wallet address. And you have multiple people mining. You have two, three, four, five, and then, you know, maybe 200 workers. Just one way to look at it. Uh, minty velocity, obviously everything is zero because we're not mining to this node yet. I want to go through a few points here so you understand kind of what's going on. So I'm scrolling back to the top. And you can see we have the core here. We'll use integrator address. Now, this is just the default address. I'm assuming maybe it's captains or one of the devs. Just like when you download a miner program, if you don't change anything, you're mining to the dev. And I'm sure they will love your generosity, but you're going to want to change that so that when you find those main blocks, that does go to your address, which is owned by the node. Now, we can go down. We can see the P2P is listening. Now, there's port five one seven seven five now every time you restart your node this will change and this is where the bat files i'm about to show you come into place it sets your integrator address to your wallet address and it locks in that p2p listening port the p2p listening port is what talks to other nodes on the network you can get all the information you can stay in sync with each other and you know it kind of just so all the nodes are talking to each other within the network so you're going to want to port forward that p2p listening port which is why we're going to lock that with a bad file so it never changes and you never have to worry to keep opening different ports every time you do restart your duro node and then you can see we have the get work will listen here so that's 0, 0.0.0 point point and then you know you got your semicolon and then we got the port so this is 10 100 this is the port you are going to want to use to mine to this node based on the IP4 address of the IP4 IP address 
of the node PC that's running. So to find your IP4, it's quite simple. You go into the command prompt, you type IP config, it'll give you a list of things and you just need your IP4 address. That'll be the IP of this PC itself, which I have the node running on. And then you put that port in there of 10, 100, and that will connect you to your node to mine to it. So that's basically all of that stuff. So I'm gonna show you the bat file now to lock this all in place. So before I do close this node, because it will have to be restarted, you can see the integrator address here is 8270, where mine is actually 827N8. So just so you can see stuff will change. So I'm closing out the node now. Here is the bat file. So to run the node, obviously we need whatever the, file name is right there. So here's our Dero Windows AMD 64.exe. That's your first thing. So we need dash dash integrator dash address equals and then this will be your wallet address. You put your wallet address there. You can bind your RPC if you want. I believe this always stays the same but I have it in here anyway. So you can follow this as well. And then we got our P2P bind here and this is the port that you're going to want to forward for the IP within your router for this, because this will talk to everybody. As soon as you port forward that, you will notice a lot more connections coming in and connecting to your node, and it will keep it more in sync to the blockchain by talking to all the other nodes that are out there. So this will bind it to always be this number. And then you got an add priority node. Now I believe this one is updated. I'm gonna have to get a couple new nodes here for you guys, but right now this one's currently outdated. I do believe they updated the priority nodes here. So we're just gonna run this now, running this bat file. We can see that everything has changed. So I'm just gonna open this up. And now we're just gonna cross reference everything so you can see exactly what changed here. So I'm just gonna bring this up over here. We can see the Dero wallet address now. So we can see W827N8, that is my address. We can have our P2P here, which is right down here. P2P is listening. 52672, 52672. This is the port you're going to want to forward. Every time you open it with this bat file, it will always remain at this. So you never have to worry about re uh, re-forwarding this port. Unless your internet or something goes down, you may get a new IP4 address through your router or something. So you will just have to swap your port forward to that new EIP address based on your PC. But overall, just from restarting, it'll always stay like this. So that's pretty much it for setting this up. Remember, we have our net time here, which keeps us milliseconds. Every 15 seconds, it will update and drop it back down as close to zero as possible. These should be zero, zero. This will be affected by your hard drive by quite a bit if you're seeing numbers here in the middle. So remember, you need a fast hard drive and your network must be synced or you will get a lot of orphan blocks. And I lost lost over a hundred Dero playing around with everything to finally get my node right. And finally, you know, it's tweaked, it's working. I don't have issues with it anymore and learn from my mistakes. I'm bringing this information for you. The main thing you got to do here is I can't stress it enough or you will get a lot of orphans and not be rewarded for your main blocks, even your mini blocks that are mined if they're orphaned. But you want that net time synced as fast as you can within one millisecond every 15 minutes and you're going to want a fast M2 or SSD drive. Using HD or something, you will lose and get a lot of orphan blocks and just won't be making. You'll be mined to this being, well, oh, I hit these blocks, how come I'm not getting rewarded and so on. And that is usually your main issue there is because your hardware just isn't fast enough. Also, if you're getting some errors, refer to the wallet, make sure your wallet address, which is this integrated address right here, is registered to the network from the first video I did. So I'm gonna actually connect my worker to my node right now, just so that you can see what it looks like when a worker and stuff is connected. So I'm gonna use U new Uranus, Uranus miner here. I always mess up when I say that. I don't know why, it just sounds weird, but this miner legitly works very well. It does about twice the hash rate and I can confirm, which I will do another video on, on testing some of these miners. This miner does give about 80% more hash over the original and finds about twice as many blocks as the original miner. So it's doing what it's supposed to. And I have found some of the other ones with high reported hash rates, they do not perform as they should and they're almost stealing from other people. So I'm just gonna copy this one here. Yes, 
grab a Duro pool. If you want to mine to the, if you don't want to set this up and you're too lazy or having issues or something, you just give up, bang your head against the wall. Obviously, ask in the comment section, join the Discord, ask in there, or you can just straight up come in and join to the Duro.rabidmining.com port 10 300 pool and be up and mining in no time so that's another option but i'm going to configure this here and point it to my node all right so here you can see i now have one miner connected to my node i'm simply going to hit the status button here status command uh it has it's not saying anything yet because it just started but you will then begin to start see your hash rates and everything going on here give it a few seconds maybe we'll get lucky and find a quick block i doubt it but we'll see <laughs> Let's smash. Let's see if we got some hash rates here. Yeah, still no hash rates. Still no hash rates. Well, regardless, it is working. The miner is connected. It's just going to take a little bit of time. So maybe I'll leave it sit for about five, 10 minutes. So the miner actually shows that hash rate is showing up at the node itself. Okay, so I pointed a couple more rigs at the node here. You can see there's 28 rigs now online here. And reading here, it actually says moving average percentage will be zero if no mini block found. So essentially, that's pretty much saying none of this is going to change until you start finding mini blocks and it based your hash from that point. So it's going to be zero till I find that. I'm going to hit this if we found one or anything yet. Still nothing. I was hoping I would find one while recording this video, but it's not looking like I'm going to. It could take an hour. It could take two minutes. I could find 20 as soon as I quit recording. You never know when it comes to this solo mining. But remember, this isn't like solo mining that you're used to with Ethereum, Ravencoin, whatever. This is different and it is actually profitable and best to mine well, solo mining. So, you know, you can kind of maybe throw the solo mining out the window because it's not the same. It sounds like it is, but I don't even know how to explain how it's not. But, you know, I don't even know what to say. I couldn't really wrap my head around it at first, but for real, even for a small miner and a large miner, mining to your own node solo is the most profitable way to do it with this coin. All right, so that pretty much does wrap up this video, but I do want to throw it out here, seeing how maybe you can't get your node to work, you're getting some type of issue. Again, let me know in the Discord, but there are pools available. One of them is my own pool here, dero.rabidmining.com. Link will be in the description. Currently, we have about 50 miners connected with 186 workers, and we got 1.254 mega hash connected at the pool. And you can scroll down, you can see everything here. The payouts are once per day, every 48. 800 blocks which works out to be around every 23 to 25 hours depending on network hash rate and how fast these blocks are found but one per day is usually what happens and you get your payout here so you know what if you feel like checking out the rabid mining dura pool the support and everything is in the discord channel as well i will see you all in the next one rabid out